EV Chevy Silverado a good Chevy Silverado? Is any of the Chevy Silverado's good, you know? Um, it's, it's an EV, electric, that's what's going to be new um, for the next, you know, 10, 15 years. Everybody's going to move into electric. Um, but this is the thing, if you're going to be towing like five to 8,000 pounds and you can only get like 350 miles of range, you will get less because you're going to need more wattage to tow that. So what really is your range? And if your range can be really good, um, yeah, I'd get an electric vehicle because if you can go 500 miles and towing max, you can go 350. That's not really too bad. I mean, you know, for gasoline or a diesel vehicle, that would be a lot better for towing. But it depends on if you're going to be towing or what you're going to use an electric vehicle or pickup truck for. Um, yeah, like I know Elon Musk, um, his electric vehicles, you can throw a towing package on the, his little Teslas, whatever. They have thousands of X, Z, Y, A, all of them things. I, I don't even know anymore. I don't even research on it. And I, I guess I never really did. Um, but they have bigger ones that can go more miles, but 300, 500, that's, you know, it's decent. That's pretty good. Um, but for if you're going to be doing, like, a lot of traveling, each gas station is, like, 500 or so miles away from each other if you're driving on, like, the highway or something. Of course, you're going to get better fuel economy on the highway, but if you're towing something... Um, my dad with the new, um, F-150 hybrid, it has a 3.5 liter motor, and the hybrid, um, like, you can go to, like, electric mode, but also you can get that 7.2 kilowatt, um, battery inverter, and, um, for his work, he, he will use that. But anyways, um, he was towing probably about five to 6,000 pounds, um, and he went from Michigan to Idaho, and pretty much all the way, he only got about 7 to 8 miles per gallon. Usually, he'd get about 21 to 22 miles per gallon highway driving with nothing. Or maybe just a little bit of cargo. So, um, that's with like that, you know, okay, whatever. You only get 300, 400 miles of range. But can an electric vehicle do that or even do better? That's the real question. Because if, if it does less, nobody's really going to want it. Now... If it does more, a lot of people are going to want it. Um, the, you know, electric vehicle doesn't know carbon or whatever. This is the next thing I'm going to get into. See, I don't know if um, companies like Elon Musk or Ford or Chevy with their EVs, are they coal powered? You know, are they using a carbon or are they like solar panel or wind, you know? What are, what are their things for burning to, burning to make the electricity to charge their vehicles? Because see, if you're using coal, coal to burn it actually takes more than just to burn gasoline. So in that case, I'd rather drive a gasoline or maybe even a diesel motor that's efficient. Um, but... I don't know if, like, Elon Musk, like I said, I don't know if Elon Musk, GM, or Ford Motor Company are really using that. I have no idea, but I'm assuming um, Tesla's come far enough so they can use pretty much all solar panel. Um, Ford, uh, their electric vehicles, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it all solar power. GM, they might make it solar power and wind power. It's, I guess... I guess what it really is, is whatever's cheapest for them, because they are, they're probably greedy. They don't really care about really saving. They just do it because, well, it's cheaper to do, and, you know, it's just electric. So, um, but it's cheaper to do, and they want to do the cheapest thing. So that's, it's kind of crappy. You should be about the people, and about, yeah. I want to save the environment, but if I'm going to make an electric vehicle, I'm going to use coal because it's 
it might be a lot cheaper. See, I don't really know if coal's cheaper than solar panel, solar power, which it probably isn't. You know, they're gonna be greedy like that. Chrysler is recalling certain 2020 to 2021 Ram 1500 Classic or SLT trucks. Certain vehicles were built without the retaining clip that secures the master cylinder push rod to the brake pedal, which can cause the brake pedal to separate from the brake system. <laughs> Um, so I, just for you guys out there, if you drive a Ram or whatever, I know my YouTube channel is small, but if you guys have a vehicle that's a Ram, that's a pickup truck, um, between 2020 to 2021, I'd make sure I'd check all your recalls and, um, make sure that everything's alright with that, and, um, also head down to the Ford dealership and buy an F-150. <laughs> so here's a little small one for the Rams, um... You would think a little small problem, you know, yeah, it's all right, but you should be able to think to build your vehicles a little better, better quality. But Chrysler is recalling certain 2019, 2020 Ram 1500 Classic and Jeep Compass vehicles. The windshield wiper arms, arm or arms may loosen, possibly causing the wipers to operate improperly and reduce the driving visibility in certain weather conditions, reduce visibility and increases the risk of crash. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something stupid. You, you should be able to build a wiper and a wiper blade that should last. I mean, something like that? Really, Ram? Really, Chrysler? Jeep, and they're all the same thing. You gotta step up your game, come on. Ford Motor Company has announced that the recall of 185 F-150 pickup trucks from 2021 to 2022 model years to fix an issue where the drive shaft might be damaged by loose, loose parts. Heat noise transition panels could come loose and impact the aluminum drive shaft. So just for you people out there, just make sure your F-150 is up to date. Um, or, you know, you should be signed up with something where you get it in the mail. And you should be, you know, alright on your recalls. Just for you guys out there, just to make sure you guys check that. General Motors is recalling certain 2018-2019 Chevrolet Cruze and Buick LaCrosse 2018-2020 Chevrolet Equinox, Tra Chevy Chevrolet Traverse, and GMC Terrain. 2018 Chevy Malibu, 2019 to 2020 Buick Rogue, and Buick Alave Cadillac XT4, Chevrolet Blazer, and GM Acadia, and 2020 Cadillac XT6 vehicles. It does not show the reason why they're getting recalled, but just make sure you just, I'm always saying, make sure you guys' vehicles are up to date for recalls and yeah just just make sure your vehicle's good to go because you wouldn't want something happen to them they they didn't say what was with the recalls but just for you guys out there just to make sure there is this app called nhtsa um safety recalls um you can search your vehicle see what is wrong with it um if there is something wrong or just to check up on recalls um, that's the app I've been using. I've also, um, just been searching on Google recalls and everything. Um, but just to let you guys know, um, this app has been great. Um, there will be a link in the description for it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell for post notifications. I need help with fixing my hair. Anyways, catch you guys next time. Oh, just a second. Just right before I go, I got my... New setup, I moved my computer downstairs. Got a ribbon on here for Twitch streams and everything. But that's not this type of video. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time on Wade Farms.